Hi everybody, it's me, Alyssa, again. Um, sorry it's been a while. I have uh, been recovering from a, a pretty big procedure. It's laparoscopic, but they ended up uh, operating on my kidneys to remove a bunch of cysts. So um, I'm almost fully recovered from that, so I apologize for not posting for a while. Um, but I want everybody to know that I have not stopped posting. So um, today's lesson is going to be uh, called How to Run Towards the Roar and Survive. So, um, what is the roar? Well, it, um, it could be a uh, temptation that's in your life that you're too scared to face. It could be a uh, sin in your life that you're doing that you're having problems um, stopping. You know, it could be bad habits. Um, for me, the roar per se, um, is, uh, something that I've been scared of, and I found out that it's not as scary as I thought. Um, for me, um, the roar that I've been scared of is, um, a feeling that I've, I'm, a feeling of a calling from God that, um, I've been afraid to face. And, you know, like with this YouTube ministry, I, I've, you know, I'm pretty much just jumping head in, head, you know, head first, you know, regardless of all my, all my faults, I'm saying, God, here I am. And then, you know, another thing is, uh, not fully surrendering to God, even though he tells you to, um, that could be something that the devil really scares you about that. If you fully surrender to God, you know, then you're going to be in a horrible place and yada, 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 and you're going to end up all these bad things. And the devil acts as a roaring lion. And that's the basis of today's lesson, is the devil is a roaring lion. And we're supposed to run towards the roar and survive. We're supposed to be constantly fighting the devil in spirit and in truth. So um, I'm going to quote First Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So let's break that down. B, you know, that that's, there's no middle ground to be, you know, the saying to be or not to be that. That's pretty self-explanatory, but the definition of self-control is self-denial. The act of denying yourself or controlling your impulses. Um, when I, when I wrote that definition down, the, uh, uh, biblical truth that popped into my mind was picking up and carrying your own cross. You know, that that's denying yourself and controlling your impulses. Um, alert, I looked up the definition of alert, and that's quick to notice anything unusual and potentially dangerous or a difficult circumstance or circumstances. And vigilant was also another word that popped up on the definition of alert. Um, prowls. To roam through stealthily as in search of prey or plunder. The devil prowls around. He, he's always seeking to still kill and destroy. You know, he's always seeking to use something, you know, to, to, hurt, our, to hurt us, to attack us, to make us feel scared. Um, devour is to consume someone or something destructively. So, um, it's interesting that, you know, in First Peter it talks about the devil running around, you know, like a roaring lion because, you know, lions, when they hunt in packs, the, um, the, the really young ones, I think, sneak up, that, well, all, all the lions sneak up and they circle the prey, but, um, the ones that roar are the ones, uh, that are mainly the old ones like the really old, <clears throat> old and weak lions. So, um, you know, we're supposed to run towards the roar because those are the weakest, even though they're the loudest. You know, it, I mean, when it comes down to it, the devil is just pretty much a coward, just doing, you know, just doing stupid stuff, trying to, you know, take our eye off Jesus, you know, and yeah, it's, um, it's sometimes hard to run towards the loudest thing or the scariest thing in your life. I've uh, lately had to run towards the war myself and just give God all my fear. So, um, 
that's pretty much today's lesson. I'm going to finish with uh, a couple Bible verses. Um, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 38 through 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And um, the next verse is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Uh, Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Um, and uh, yeah, so my next lesson is going to be over the armor of God. It's something that I've just felt God speaking in my own life that I could learn more about. So um, I urge everybody to um, to run towards the Lord and just trust Jesus. And uh, if you haven't, you know, put Jesus in the driver's seat of your life, you know, I, I urge all of you to do that, to, um, you know, just pray to God, say, hey, you know, I've made some really bad mistakes and, you know, I I need you to come in my life and forgive me you know, of those mistakes or those, you know, sins or those really bad things that, you know, that I think or or that I can't handle myself, but I need you. I urge all of you just to, you know, just seek God in everything you do. You know, Bible says, seek and you shall find. Uh, so, um, that's pretty much it for this lesson. Remember, run towards the war because all the old weak lions are the ones roaring. And, yeah, Jesus loves all of you. It doesn't matter what you've done. All you got to do is just pray to him and, and seek him with all your will and all your might, and you'll find him. Goodbye for now, and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.